We'll start with building the box first. Let's start with the floor section with the pockets facing upwards. And then hammer the four dowels into the edge. Then once all four dowels are in, the front side is ready to go on. So orient the front with the black painted edge at the top and the side with the pockets facing away from you. And then align the front section against the floor section so that the holes line up with the dowels. And then push the front hard up against the floor section or hammer it in if you need to. Now screw the front against the floor through the holes all along the bottom edge. Now we're going to install the three side walls. The side walls have four lugs like you can see here. So orient the wall so the lugs locate in the pockets on the front and floor sections and then hammer the wall in nice and snug. Screw the side walls in starting with the screws closest to the corner. Now you can see we have all three of the side walls located and screwed in through the front section. So tip the box over onto the front section and screw the side walls onto the floor section. There's three screws for each side wall on both the floor and the front. Now we'll put the roof on, so start by hammering the four dowels in. Once they're in, grab the roof and push it against the side wall so the lugs locate in the pockets and the dowels locate in the holes. Push the roof section hard up against the side walls and you'll probably have to hammer it in nice and snug. Then just screw the roof section onto the side walls. Now flip the box back onto the floor so you can see the windows and screw the front onto the roof. Now the box is done, leave it aside and we'll build the frame. Start by laying the front doors with the latches down and put the legs in like so. And tip this section up so we can put the rear doors on. So start by lining up the legs with the edge of the frame like so. Then lift the front doors onto the legs so that the legs locate inside the holes on the bottom of the frame. Lower the doors down evenly onto the legs and hammer it down if you need to. Now grab the right hand side wall so make sure the mesh goes on the front and the small tongue is facing inwards. Line it up with the holes on the front and rear door frames and screw them in with the allen key. Repeat this whole step exactly the same with the other side wall. Now that the frame is together, put the box in. So this is a two person job. Make sure you align the steel tube on the bottom of the box with the holes on the inside of the frame. Now screw the four bolts in. Then open the rear doors and screw the box onto the frame. Grab the mesh for the top of the box and line it up towards the front of the box like so. Put the three washers on top of the mesh so they line up with the holes on the roof. Get the screws started by hand so you don't cross thread them. Do this for all three washers. Now grab the center mesh section and orient it with the rounded corners up and the rubber spaces at the box end. Once that's in, put the four longest bolts in and tighten, but don't over tighten. Grab the center roof support and line it up with the holes as shown and then screw it down. Now we'll do the sidewall sheets. So we have a half sheet and a full sheet. We'll start with the half sheet first. So orient it against the frame like so and screw it onto the frame, putting the screws in where the dots are marked. Just start with two screws for the half sheet. Then grab the full sheet and orient it with the flat edge towards the front of the kennel. Line it up over the top of the half sheet and screw it against the frame, putting all the screws in where the dots are marked and repeat this whole step for the other side too. Now onto the roof sheets. So we have two full sheets and a smaller middle sheet. When you line it up on the kennel, have 40 mil of the sheet overhanging the frame at the back of the kennel and you'll be left with a shorter overhang at the front of the kennel. 
Also make sure to put the sheet on with the bent corners going to the outside. Put the full sheets towards the sides of the kennel. And the smaller middle sheet goes on top with two ridges overlapping each sheet. Make sure the sheets are aligned nice and evenly across the front. Then grab the self-tapping roof screws with the rubber washers and screw the roof on. Screw through each of the pre-punched holes in the roof sheets, making sure the roof stays aligned as you go. Use a ladder to get on the roof and finish screwing it down across the middle like so. Then put the wooden floors in and you're done.